Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Julian again. We're doing another challenge. And this time it's Fiance tries Filipino food. We have a bunch of wood here. If you've seen my Insta story, I was actually uh, recording. Well, snap snapping? That's yeah, awkward. Insta -story. I was Insta storying uh, our trip to the grocery store. So we have this one. I'll show you. Um, all of them later so we just go one by one we'll go one by one all right and in case you guys don't know he's actually colombian no he's not half filipino he's not pure filipino he's not pure american he is pure colombian who grew up in the usa yes and soon to be having his citizenship yes amazing so let's get started ready okay yes so i've tried some filipino snacks and uh, one thing is polvoron, I think I've tried. Um, I don't remember exactly what that tastes like, but we didn't do it. And then I tried um, yesterday, it was avocado with, with ice and condensed milk, which is weird because supposedly for, Filipi for the Filipinos, they eat avocado as dessert. Yes. It is a dessert snack. For me, we eat it with our food, like with our steak, with salt. We salt, we just avocado and salt, and that's it. That's what I grew up, and it tastes good to me. Yeah, it's like guacamole in the cinemas or wherever yeah. you go. It's not a dessert. It's basically yes. um, an additional flavor for their food, but for us, it's actually a dessert. So he tried it last night. <coughs> how how did you find it? It's uh, weird. It, it tastes weird. Um, it tastes like something I've tasted before. I just can't. I don't remember what it was. And then there was this thing drink I tried yesterday. It was at um Sagot Gulaman. Sagot Gulaman. 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 It tasted weird. It has a weird aftertaste for him. Anyways, let's get started with this food. Okay, so first we have potato fries. Yeah. Go ahead. So I, I know in the U.S. we have similar things to this. Perfect fries, fries, chips. These are like big fries. Yeah. They're legit oh. size. Look, they're not small, skinny fries. Wow. So you have to rate everything ten being the highest and one being the lowest. lowest um, this this is baked, not fried. In terms of chips and snacks, if I have, if I have a water with me, because it's very salty, if I have water with me, I could probably finish this whole thing. Probably give it a, oh yeah, <laughs> a water. Oh, I'm too. Anyways, I think we'll give it like a seven. Seven's not bad. Seven. Okay, seven for this. Okay, number two, we have boy bawang. It's um. Fried corn, basically, with vegetable oil and coconut oil and with barbecue, whatever. So, I'll open it for you. Do you have anything like, like this similar in the USA or Colombia? Is that corn? Dried corn? We have, yeah, we do have dried... Okay. No, we don't. <laughs> it looks like this. It looks like peanuts. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like peanuts at all. I think I might have something like this in Colombia. Yeah, we do. I don't remember the name of it. Is it similar taste? Mm hmm I could eat this like on my... But it's nothing new. So I give it a 7 out of 10 again. Okay. 7 out of 10. Can take a water break real quick? Number 3, we have... Nagaraya. But in... Still barbecue flavor. Barbecue. So mm -hmm. these are, these are um, peanuts. Okay. So it's like a peanut inside a wheat flour. So I, I have to taste that. I can't, I can't imagine it tastes like. Yeah. All right, let's see. Okay. This is how it looks like. So far, these ta these two snacks have tasted familiar. Okay. Let me see. We're doing like two or three. Eat three. This is like Manimoto. 
Colombian what is food. That? A Colombian, uh, Colombian snack. It's called Mani Moto. And it's like a shell. And it has like a peanut inside of it. Yeah, that's Mani Moto. Straight up. Yeah. I love it. But I don't eat this in barbecue. I eat this uh, on a normal flavor. Mmm. Too. Yeah, so, out of 10. Nothing new. Okay. But it's Filipino. And I like Mani Moto from Colombia. And, uh. I don't know, I, I guess. Hard to please. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Because I'm not it's a big lower? fan. I'm not a big fan of Mani Moto. You, you, you said you like Mani Moto. I like Moto. it, I'm just not a big fan of it. It just dries my mouth. I'm not a big f fan of food that dries my mouth. Because I have to drink more water. Next we have, fourth, we have the... Can I read it? Barquiron? Barquiron? Barquiron. Barquiron. Yes. Barquiron. <coughs> I'm not sure if you can read this one. I, I, I eat this, but I just don't know what it's called. What is it exactly? That's it's with, ca with cashew nuts. Are you allergic to nuts or um, something? No. Be careful because there's... Wait, this is how it looks like inside. Yeah. Ooh, my color pop is popping. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it tastes like pulverum. It tastes like pulverum, but it's in a different like packaging or. I don't like this. That's you know, it's not that bad. I would rate this as 3 out of 10. Really. Yeah, like probably like a 4, th 3 out of 10. 3 or yeah. 4. 3.5. Yeah. You know, in the middle. It's not like, it's not totally nasty, um, but it's not very pleasing to eat. Also, if you've tasted any of these, uh, comment and uh, tell me, tell us, tell her. Um, if you like it or not, or if you agree with our decisions on points. So fifth, this is um, uh, sweet tamarind. It's sampal sampalong. Tamarind. It's kind of sweet, but salty, but sour at the same time. So that's how it tastes. I might have tasted this before, but in a lollipop form. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, that's how it looks like. Scared. This doesn't look very good. There's a seed in there. I've had this before in Colombia. What do you call it in Colombia? Tamarindo. Wow. It's very new, right? I think so. I think that's the name because I remember Angelo was singing a song. Tamarindo or something. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a song or something, yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. I want to eat more than one. Yeah. It's two. My max is one packet, but one would be enough for me. Sorry, my faces are very... Like, yeah, I'm just not good with my facial expressions. So how, how do you rate it? This is not saying it's disgusting. I'm not. I'm just saying it's very strong in my tongue. So my <laughs> face is showing that. I'm not saying, oh, it's nasty. Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Okay. No. Sixth is um okay, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. It's a bread it's bread and cheese. And it's called Ensaimada. Yeah, this is like one of the favorite uh bread in the Philippines. This is egg. Yeah, with with egg as well. So Salt with salted egg inside. It's just not like a, the normal ensaimada. There's actually a salted egg inside. So it should be interesting. I, I wanna try this as well. Okay, I'm gonna go piece. What? I gotta go piece now. Of the salted egg? Mm. Okay. Mm. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I just, it's, I think for most of these foods, it's something that I'd have to get used to eating if I ate them on a regular basis. So I'm rating it like if I were to eat it more often, would I like it? And I think I would like it. So I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. You read very low. I didn't even look at fine. 7.5 out of 10. Number 7. 
7. This is uh, Hopia, Hopia Ube. My mom likes Ube. So we can give this to her after. I feel like I have to have my blind, a blindfold there on you to go. eat these. Look, it's a bread with <coughs> purple yam inside. And the purple yam in Tagalog is called Ube. Alright, ready? I'm ready. This is a Ube. Hopia. 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 Hope you like it. <laughs> that was good. so good. Go. Go. My mom's gonna spank you. You're literally. So? Then tell the game then. What? It tastes bland. True. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything. There's no flavor to it. No, no. You have to taste it. Like I did. No. I think for me it's also texture. Texture is a big thing in food and snacks. Texture. texture. So what are you rating this? A two. It's the one and only Digo Double G. Two. I give it a two just because it. Well, taste I can like agree anything. because this brand it says E N G. Beating, that's a Chinese brand actually, but it's from Philippines as well. I've seen this before, but yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. I'm not sure why, but it tastes bland. It tastes bland, like nothing. So we're done with the food and chips. We're going to drinks. Number eight, I think eight is this one. Mu. It's chocolate milk. It's a normal chocolate milk but it's moo. It's just super chocolate. So maybe you'd like it. Mm. I know my little sister is a fan of chocolate milk. Um, Erica, we miss you. Ready? Yeah. It's good. It's good? It doesn't taste like regular chocolate milk. Has like a different that's why I told him. That's why I told him. He's like, oh, that's chocolate milk. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, but it's different. It's moo. It's different. Yeah, it doesn't taste like... This was actually pretty good. I could drink a bunch of this if I it wasn't too lactose. So, out of 10? Give it 8.5. Oh, my God. 8.5. Okay, 8.5. After this, I might re-rate everything. He might try it the again. The standard is set. You know, it didn't get better than seven, <laughs> so that could be a ten. True. All right, go ahead. Okay, now this one is you guys know this pretty well. This is Yakult. Okay, Kabachan. Okay, Kabachan. It's like a commercial in the Philippines. Okay. This is milk, but it's cultured milk. <laughs> cultured what, what milk. What so it's not like pure milk. It tastes like labana, no, but not really. I actually didn't like it. Didn't like this at first, but I grew to like it because of my brother and sister. Ready? Super. Why is it so sweet? Sweet. And you know that's expensive in the Philippines. How much? No, no, I don't know, but I know that it's expensive. Is it good? Can I try? You know. I, the last time I tried it was last, last year. I'm still not a fan of it. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike it, but I'm not like. Eh. You know what this would be good with? Like if you have, if, if you have this on your right hand, and on your left hand you have like a bowl of frosted flakes or cereal. Our gonna do. That is so American. This is really good. Yeah? It's good, yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna finish it because I think it's too strong to eat to eat by itself to drink by itself. That's how you drink it. You actually drink it like on I can't one do go. It. No, I can't do that. This I have to mix this is this will be like a perfect snack while I'm like working and I have this and then I have some some frosted flakes on my left hand and this on my right hand. Mm. Some milk. This is actually really good. I like it. I give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I give it an 8. 8. Okay, that went lower by 0.5. So, 
So, okay. Alright. Last but not the least. I hope you can still... This is the Filipino this. Pepsi. Filipino Pepsi. It's called Sarsi. Sarsi! Okay. Okay, we, uh, yeah. So, this is soda. This, this smells like root beer. <laughs> it smells like root beer. Oh, true. But I don't know how that... How that... Root beer tastes the exact same thing as this. It smells, but I'm not sure about the taste, though. No. Why? It tastes like root beer. You don't drink root beer? No. <clears throat> root beer is nasty. You know, this might be good with some ice cream. Oh, true. Ice cream float. Ice cream float, you know, this for some people, because people like root beer float. This is, you, I mean, okay. I will never drink that again. <laughs> so, yeah. I give that a three. Three? That's high for something that you would never try again. Yeah, but sometimes, like, at the draft through they give you the wrong drink and you gotta deal with it. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. So, you okay? I'm okay. Your tummy is okay? Yes. We got Imodium there. So. My favorites were um, this one right here. These, these were really good. You know, I might bump this up to 8 or a 9 just because everything else wasn't that, that good. So, this one would be like 8 or a 9, not a 7 anymore. This one I think will stay a 7 because, you know what, it's like an 8 or a 9 as well. <laughs> I think I really like this one because it's, I like it that you guys have like similar food. Yeah, like that's, what, that's what I was going to say. I think there are a lot of foods that are similar to like Colombian food. Colombian food, Snacks, yeah. Snacks. Filipino food. Yeah, which makes it, I think, not very different from your taste, like for your taste buds. It's like almost, not almost, but, but yeah. the same. This was, this, this, this tastes exactly like the Colombian. It's like the exact same thing, just different packaging. Um, so I think this was one of my favorites. Those three are my favorites because those three are the ones that I would want to eat again. Like, hey, let me have some of that, let me have... The other ones, I don't think I would want to eat again. Okay. And uh, so hopefully soon, one day, I'll let you try some of the Colombian yeah, snacks. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I'm you pretty sure... You said that with I'm... no excitement. <laughs> He's like, I can't wait. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not like a scaredy cat in terms of trying out foods and everything. I don't mind at all if it tastes bad. I eat ampalaya. I did you like did you like the Colombian chalk that I gave you? Yeah, I liked it, but it's not. Ju I'm just not a fan of chocolate. Yeah, I'm just. A, I yeah. think she would love it because Colombian, the food that I eat in Colombia, the snacks or whatever, they're not very like weird tasting. They're just very things that you would eat on a regular basis. Okay, so that concludes our fiance tries Filipino food. I hope you guys enjoy, and yes, if. Please you have any comments about the food that we tried or some of the Filipino foods that are you know good to try comment below and yes I hope you guys like it thank you uh, subscribe to her channel subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this we'll be uploading a lot a lot a lot of yes. videos so yeah that's all bye, bye.